Continuing on where we left off, we're now going to take this layout and publish this. The way that our navigator works again is project map, view map, layout and publisher or base models, saved views, plans and printed plans or exported plans. So we can go to publisher and we see that the publisher looks a lot like the layout. It's got all of the same names, but instead of showing it as a title blocked plan, it shows it as a Adobe Acrobat file. What that's saying is we're saving it as a PDF, but I can't really interact with this very much. So instead of using this publisher view, what I like to do is open up the organizer and the the beauty of the organizer, it gives us a split screen. So on the left hand side we have our layouts and on the right hand side we have our publisher views. What this means is that once we've created our layouts, we can drag and drop these onto here. Again, we could put it in order. And then we could publish it. Now it's automatically in this case saving as a PDF because that's the type of format that I've chosen. But there's lots of different formats. So we could choose to export these or publish these as say DWGs, or images, TIFFs maybe, or PDFs. PDF of course is the best option for creating a vector based file that almost anyone can open. A DWG might be the best one, maybe if I wanted to give this to an engineer. Um, and a, an image file, a, maybe a TIFF would be best if I was exporting a an image, so something that we've created maybe in Cine Render or Sketch Render format that wouldn't be the way that I work. Generally I'd export it straight out of ARCHICAD, not on a layout in terms of a publisher. Let's go up for a second, up level. What we can see is we have to choose where we're saving this. So we can choose to save this anywhere on our computer. We can go into the different folders. In this case these are basically identical, there's not really much definition for these. We can select that view and we can publish. This is only going to take a, a second or so to publish. It's a lot faster than the traditional way of how we might save a view. File, print. Of course if we wanted to print it and we could print it to scale, the way that we could do that would be save as PDF and then we could choose to save it this way. So there's a few different options of how we could go about that. Using the publisher is the best option and it produces the best results and it saves all of our drawings in order. The only thing that it does which is a little bit dangerous is that if we've already got a drawing and we publish it will automatically publish over the original. It won't give us the option of saving it as a different name. So we have to be very careful when we're creating our drawings that we have them saved in different files or folders in order to not um, potentially lose some of our information. Back to our original. So that's how we use our navigator and understand that. Again, I was going into the organizer in order to be able to publish that and just by clicking publish and that has automatically saved that as a PDF into the folder of my choice.